strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. The children of Arkham have done horrible things. They're a symptom of a larger problem. The corruption in Gotham. They exist because they see an injustice. Sort of like you, then. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. All I did was write it down. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. And if you want my honest opinion, you're wasting your time with the children of Arkham. You should be looking at Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not here to talk about Bruce Wayne. Look, I came here to meet you. I didn't have to do that. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data drive he gave me, that was from you. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. Believe me. I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to.
He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... There's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Exactly, are they planning to release? Mercy Street. But how are they planning to release it? Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey.
This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Easy access. The train car was raised to make working beneath it easier. They wanted to get this done fast. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. This doesn't add up. This isn't dangerous enough to be their plan. I need to know where their target is. This doesn't add up. This isn't dangerous enough to be their plan. I need to know where their target is. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. So we know where, but what are they planning? This isn't dangerous enough to be their plan. A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I 
I'd known you were gonna make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. <sighs> we have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train! This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. They did have a price on her head after all. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation. Stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the other liars. Oh! <laughs> 
Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? <sighs> What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. I was just trying to help you, Selena. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> well, I didn't ask for yours either, but here we are. Touche. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Why even stay in Gotham? You could just leave. Trying to get rid of me? <laughs> Come on. Tired of starting over, I guess. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. You're wrong. There are good people out there. Honest people. Care to introduce me to one? Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see. I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times. But you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? 
Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. I think the place has... charm. <laughs> What's charming about it? The leak in the ceiling or the dirty underwear on the floor? It's not what I meant. Hmm. <sighs> I was hoping for something more than that. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Hey there. <laughs> Surprised you're still here. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One night stands don't usually stick around. <laughs> well, it meant something to me, Selena. I thought... Oh, I'm sorry. But that's not what this is. It's better this way. No strings. There are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that... Certainly explains it. I don't get nosy. I didn't say anything. You said O. Oh. I know what O oh means. Well, it means exactly what I meant it to mean. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Do what you will. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Uh, 
Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even a good place. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! None of this is about you, Harvey. What? So I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you can do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. Stop it! Now you see, these aren't your friends. They aren't going to help you. Harvey, all right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? 
Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with that. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. <laughs> getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No. I don't want to hurt you. This isn't... They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Please, not with him. But I can't. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <laughs> you don't need to be afraid of Harvey. You can handle him. Yeah, because I really want to stay here wondering when he'll show up. If he'll be armed, if I'll be ready. No thanks. Yeah, that means you too. <sighs> we won't go far. Don't worry. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. <sighs> Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the Children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. This is gonna be a while. Yeah. You, uh, you stay safe, all right? Same to you.
I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. And please, Bruce, try to be on your best behavior. The very best. Wouldn't want to bring any more shame to the Wayne family name, now would we? I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. Hopefully, you find your voice at the podium. Bruce, what's your opinion of the Shiner? Regina wanted me to cover it up with makeup. She doesn't think it looks very dignified. But here I think it's a fine display of what the moral high ground looks like. Mr. Cobblepot. All in good fun, honestly. <laughs> a thrown punch is just water under the bridge. Right, Bruce? Boys are just being boys and all of that. No hurt feelings, I'm sure. Bruce just didn't like losing the office. Exactly. I don't hold anything against you. No worries. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me? Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. Now that's it. Just reflect on all that for a bit. As this is just a first step towards Price. making things right. Well, like to Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you Waynes will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how Old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? Last offer, Bruce. Fine, suit yourself. And now... Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. But I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out. At a meeting, I was not invited to attend. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you. But I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. Unfortunately, the board is more concerned with good PR than they are with actual solutions. They don't care about making things right. They only care about what looks good. What are you doing? Thinks he's being cute is what he's doing. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Uh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, 
The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Dropped your pen. It's not... You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You won't get away with this. I think I already have. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Barkova. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to be the right of you. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? 